Welcome fine young Resolumer to this tutorial on crossfader phase. This tutorial is for Resolum Arena and Avenue version 7.12 and up. In Resolum 7.12 we introduced the crossfader phase. This feature allows you to link and animate parameters with your crossfader. Let's jump into Resolum Arena and have a look. The crossfader phase can be used to animate parameters in the layer, clip, group or composition panels. For this tutorial, I'll be animating parameters in the composition panel. Here I have two layers. Each layer is at 100% opacity. Next, I'll connect the top layer to the A side of the crossfader and the bottom layer to the B side. Now I can crossfade between the two clips. Next, I'll add an effect that I want to activate when crossfading. From the effects panel, I'll pick the pixel blur effect and apply it to my composition. Let's crank up some of the parameters to make it extra blurry. Now we'll animate the blur parameter. Click on the cogwheel next to the parameter, select crossfader phase, and now the blur parameter is controlled by the crossfader. We can see it work, but when we're at the B side, we're blurred and at the A side we're clear. Instead of this, I would like a full blur at the 50% mark and a clear image at the 100% A or B mark. To do this, I'll create an envelope. Click on the cogwheel next to the parameter. Select envelope. I'll start by dragging the outer point to zero as we want both ends of the slider to represent zero. Next, I'll add another point by double clicking on the line. I'll set the face to 50%, marking the middle of the animation. I'll set the blur to 1. At 50%, I want a full blur. Now let's see how that looks. And that's the basic gist of it. Simple and fast. If you want to learn more about envelopes, make sure to check out our Envelope Masterclass video, link in the description below. We hope you have fun with the crossfader phase and I'll see you in the next one.